Hello everyone, if this video goes live, that simply means that I did not pre-record enough PSO2 content and that's why this video is going live. But anyway, in today's video, we're going to be fighting Storm Terror over here. I'm going to be teaching you a very, very simple way to defeat the boss. I'm mainly just going to be using auto attacks. You can see over here that I'm doing Storming Terror 2, which is the recommended party level 50 version. And we're just going to do that. Here's my lineup. I've got me as my main character, Fischl, Amber, and Xiang Ling. Main reason why I have Amber is because I want the attack increased by 25% by having two fire units. So at the very beginning of the fight, I switched to my Amber mainly because the bow that she's using gives me some um, energy whenever I hit a weak spot or there's like a 70% chance of it. And I messed up here and didn't, or I just got unlucky I guess, I just didn't get mana. Over here I do a perfect dodge, I know my HP looks like I took damage but I didn't. Uh, I just came into the fight with uh, without full HP basically. And we're just going to be waiting until the boss lands. Alright, once the boss lands, you're going to notice his head's going to tilt in a certain way. And that's where he's going to start. And he's going to blow this tornado slowly across the map towards you. So you just got to quickly break that white bar under his HP bar before the NATO gets to you or else you'll take thousands and thousands of damage. Once it's down, you want to climb up the neck if you have a melee character and beat up on this purple crystal. You can see over here that I'm just going to be using physical attacks and it's not going to do a lot of damage. The fifth hit is doing that extra wind damage, that extra 420 wind damage, but that's because of my skill or my sword, I forgot, I think it's a skill. But either way, once the dragon gets away, he's going to start shooting projectiles at you, you just want to dodge them and wait until he gets a special cutscene. Then he's like, oh, he's so angry, he's gonna break all the platforms. So now you simply just fly away. You're gonna notice which platforms are gonna break because they're literally gonna have cracks on them. Like right now, you see these blue cracks. So in order to fly away, you just jump there, float to the next platform. Once you get to the next platform, you're just gonna float until you get to a platform without all the cracks. So you're gonna see here, oh look, there's another platform and we're just gonna float to safety. Easy peasy. So now that we're in relative safety, I switched to Amber because I want to pull off a cheeky uh, shot again in order to get more energy. I think I miss. I'm pretty sure I miss. Oh no, I hit. Nice. But again, I didn't hit his weak spot and it didn't proc and I got punished for that. But it's alright. He's landed and I switched back to the MC and beat him up a little bit. And we're just whittling down that white bar under his HP so that he will get stunned and then we can beat up on the purple crystal again. I'm just using my MC, beating his claw, beating up that white bar, and boom, he's down again, climb up his neck. And this time we're going to use Fischl and press E to have the little Raven or Oz, and then switch to the MC and use a chain reaction. You can see over here the chain reaction was with my character's E, the wind version of the E, as well as their NATO, and electricity. So you can see that did significantly more damage just by using your abilities. And now he lands again. I don't know why he landed again, so I got three hits on him. That was very, very nice. And now we're just going to wait until he lays his claws down so we can attack. And bada bing, bada boom. We stun him again. He falls over, climb up on his neck. We're going to summon Oz again, and we're going to attack the crystal. Go Oz. All right, back to MC. Use my E and beat him up. And he's dead. Simple. And voila. There goes the dragon, and we get a little prize over here. Cost 60 resin, no big deal. And we just get a bunch of blue accessories. We did get a Berserker's Rose as well as a Gladiator's Intoxication, so that was pretty nice. So here are my stats. The weapon I'm using is obviously super overpowered because I did get a 5 star weapon. However, you can use the exact same strategy with whatever your strongest character is. It doesn't have to be a melee character. If Fischl is your strongest character, you can use Fischl, climb up on the dragon's neck, and use auto attacks to beat the crap out of the crystal that works as well. Basically, every character in the game can use this method, and you don't need this really OP weapon. But I got lucky and I pulled a 5 star weapon. So for my artifacts over here, the main focus is auto attack damage. You can see that my martial artist two-piece set 
which increases my regular attack as well as charge attack damage by 15%. And I also have the two piece Braveheart, which also increases my attack by 18%. So when we go to total attributes right here, you're going to see my max HP is 14,000. My attack stat is 1,332 and my defense is 566. Now, when we go to details, you're going to notice that I'm really lacking on something and that is crit rate. So it really sucks and I'm working on that. But another thing down here is my physical damage bonus is plus 26.8% which is quite a big deal, which really helps me out on those auto attacks. Now my official is mediocre stats, you know, 1020 attack. She does have the compound bow. I'm a big fan of the compound bow. Attacks really, really quick. My set bonus is really meh from my artifacts. I do have a copy of her, so she does have the constellation one. My amber has garbage stats. My Xiangling has garbage stats. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.